Alrighty guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial today on audio capture and stepping up your game a little bit there. So these are quick and easy ways to do that. Uh, you might shoot a lot with your iPhone or GoPro like this. So you might be shooting video with your iPhone or you might be shooting it with your GoPro like this. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to get the best audio. One of the biggest downsides of shooting with a GoPro or iPhone is audio. It sucks, it's terrible. It's maybe decent if you get really close like this or maybe really close like this. And as you can tell right now when I switch to the audio for the GoPro, you can hear lots of echo in the room and it just sounds like, and I'm not even that far away. Uh, but when we switch back to good audio like this, you can tell a difference. It's a little more clear and you can get that and you can achieve that without spending a lot of money. Uh, so what this does is gives you better flexibility to be able to shoot far away and I can get really far away from the camera and the quality of the audio doesn't change. So the little trick there is this little guy right here. So I've got a cord plugged in to all the way to my phone. And you can see right here, I've got it clipped onto me. It's a lapel mic plugged into here. This is a great little feature uh, that they've started creating. This is made by Shure, S-H-U-R-E. It's about a $70 mic, plugged straight into my iPhone, plug and play, you don't have to do anything. There's some cheaper ones out there for like 30 bucks I've played around with, and uh, they're pretty good too. So a couple of really awesome things you can do with it. You can use the voice memo part of your phone. So if you've never used this, this is a great little tool if you have an iPhone voice memo. Again, you plug this in, record a voice memo. You've got great quality audio. It can be a scratch recording for singing. Um, it can just be a better voiceover. If you're starting to do podcasting, excellent tool. You can send it out and email it straight from your phone. The phone does a great job at auto correcting when you get really loud and then when you get really soft does a pretty good job at that. The other thing you can use it for though is you can turn your iPhone into basically an audio recorder in your pocket. So in this scenario, in this setup here, you see here I've got my GoPro sitting here recording me and then I've got audio plugged into here. So in this scenario, I'm actually recording video with the audio but you could just do a voice memo and then later uh, in editing, you can match those up. You might be asking, man, that sounds kind of hard just to like randomly match up two clips. Uh, but what I do typically at the end of a shoot is before I'm done, I say, Mark, and I clap three times. So what that does is that allows me to see those big jumps in the audio later on. And in editing, I can easily and quickly find those and basically just line them up. I can do another tutorial later on that. Uh, I use Premiere Pro to edit and that's how I line those up. So then once you get those in there, you drop out the audio so instead of keeping both like this, you can hear the good one and the bad one. I'm gonna mute the GoPro audio like this, and now I'm left with nice clean audio, and then whichever picture I wanna use, in this case, the GoPro. So hopefully that's helpful, it didn't go too fast, um, but quick and easy, $70 mic, order it from B&H or Adorama or something like that. Plug it in, your audio is gonna be much better. People watching your videos will thank you. All right, see you guys, bye.